Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a lot to be thankful for. Bulletproof is here on this special day. And I'm in Indiana. And I'm here with my sweet Joe in the Indiana Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Now, it's not every day that I get to spend Thanksgiving with him because I live in Gulf Shores, Alabama. But I'm here for Thanksgiving and my grandson's birthday. And so I came to visit Joe. And I think I got lipstick all over my face, but that's beside the point. But anyway, this is his marker. And he still has the two quarters on his stone that I talked about when I was here the first of the month. And he was a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army in World War II. And he called me his KJ. So because I knew I was moving to Gulf Shores, Alabama, when he died, or I knew I was moving somewhere, not really Gulf Shores, but anyway, I've had that put on his stone, all my love, your KJ. So he would know my love would always be with him wherever I was. But anyway, how special for me to be with him here today. Then I'm going to walk down and I'm going to find my brother. And there's a special story about that. I don't know a lot. I probably would know a lot of people buried here if... Uh, I would walk around and, and read all of them. You know, they come from all over to be buried in the veteran Cemetery. And my brother died in 10, so he was here not too long before it was built. And he came down here to see it, and then he was diagnosed with lung cancer, and he lived in Cincinnati, Ohio. But he wanted to come and be buried here. He was a U.S. Air Force veteran. And here is his stone. Danny B. Blacklock, Staff Sergeant, U.S. Air Force, Vietnam. He was in Guam. And he died way too young. He was age 58. But he smoked those old cancer sticks. And that was the one thing he told me before he passed. He wished he had never started. But the funny story is here is Mr. Patterson is buried two graves down from my brother. Well, I didn't know Mr. Patterson personally, but I knew his daughter. And after my Joe got sick with Alzheimer's, I decided to go back to work because we had retired together, and I went to work at a local bank in a drive through was where I was stationed. And she would bring her daddy through, who was Mr. Patterson. Now, he was a very particular man, and you had to get things just right. Well, he kind of liked to go to the uh, uh, establishments, the little gambling places sometimes because we have boats around here and he would want the Christmas $100 bills that you could find and if you didn't give them to me he had his daughter just slip them right back and say these won't do so when I saw them come through I knew immediately what they wanted and I always made sure they were nice and crisp and that's just a, a short story about a small town and the things that mean a lot to you but I treasure that story. And he's buried just two, two graves down from my brother. So no more tears. This is happy place. And I love Madison. And I love the life that I've built since my Joe passed. But, and I'm so thankful for many, many things. But I'm thankful for the 35 and a half years I had with Joe. And I'm thankful that my brother got to live at least 58 years. And I'm thankful for all the blessings in my life. And to be here with my grandson on his birthday is very special too. So I hope you all have had a wonderful holiday.
and that you have talked about how thankful you are. I made a traditional um, going to my sister's, which that's what we always did on Thanksgiving, and I always made a special appetizer. And I remembered that, so, oh, my phone's getting low. But anyway, I went to the store this morning and I bought it, and I'm gonna surprise my nephew with this appetizer. And of course, we're all adults. They're adults now, the kids are adults now, but anyway, they're gonna love it, and it's a surprise. And I'm so thankful that I'm here to be able to do that. So, count your blessings today. We're so very lucky and fortunate. Love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.